So you've probably heard about pineapple magnets on people's cruise doors. You've probably seen them. And now those swingers have hijacked garden gnomes too. Who would have thought? But now they've even added those cute, innocent looking loofah sponges. And get this, cruise ducks into their dangerous lifestyle. I mean, what gives? Who knew there were that many sickos in the world? You may or may not have heard of this old age home called The Villages. It's in the news all the time, usually for all the wrong reasons. It's like this massive 55 plus community that spans like three counties in central Florida. Although it's true that the STDs in the Sunshine State have risen dramatically, Florida has officially reported that the three Florida counties containing the villages actually have lower STD rates than other Florida counties. So that's weird, right? Unfortunately, my father, Jim Cruz, lives in the villages. Now, I have to warn you, he's a little wild, but he has the inside scoop on pineapples, gnomes, loofahs, and cruise ducks. We've got him on the line. Is he there? Dad? Hey there, Sonny. How goes it? I'm well. I'm well. I hear you're some kind of big-time YouTube cruise guy now, huh? Nicely done. Yeah, right. So, uh, Pops, I wanted to talk about the pineapples and loofah thing there in the villages. So, what's the real deal? Ah, uh, yes. Pineapples, loofahs, and garden gnomes, too. Don't forget about those ducks. The ducking thing is a big thing around here. So cute. Are there really that many swingers in the villages? Well, let me explain a little something to you. You know, there's not a lot to do around here, so people get a little creative. They tend to sample each other's pie, if you know what I'm saying. Ew. All right, we've heard about the pineapples on people's doors, doormats, or golf carts. Does a pineapple mean someone is interested in swinging? Well, most of the time, yeah. But it really depends which way the pineapple is. There's different meanings, you know what I mean? Yeah, we actually did a video on that. So nasty. So, so when did the loofahs become a swinger thing? Well, everybody around here seems to get around on golf carts. No DUI. So some genius said, well, I can't really carry around a pineapple, so why not just hang a loofah from my rear view? Jeez and crackers, I think I'm going to puke. I've heard that different colored loofahs mean different things. What's the scoop on that? Sure do. i got a bunch of them right here. Purple, this is for people who just like to watch. Teal is the dangerous one. It means you go both ways, so you're pretty much guaranteed some action, if you know what I mean. <laughs> D Dad, why do you have loofahs? Son, don't knock it till you try it. Jesus. What about Mom? Mom? Well, well hell, she's been on board since right about the time you were born. Hmm. I think I'm going to puke. Tell me cruise ducks really aren't part of this sicko lifestyle, too. Oh, yeah. Ducking is a big part of swimming. You just put a duck on somebody's porch with a little tag with your phone number, and if they're interested, they call you up, and the rest is history. <laughs> so there are different colors for these ducks, too? Oh, yeah. Same kind of colors. Loofahs, pink, blue, teal. But yellow is the most offensive. It has something to do with the urinary tract. Pretty sick. Probably can't say much more about that here. Cut them off. Cut them off now. Cut them. Just pull it. Pull the plug. I'm honestly sick to my stomach. But just so you're aware, I'll list all the colors and the symbolism of the swinger colors for loofahs and ducks and the pineapple thing at the end of this video. I've got to go. Bye. Bye. <laughs>